Well, the investigation takes a whole new turn when human remains are found. On scene today, Duval County's medical examiner. Yeah, Lindsay Gardner is joining us now, explaining what the medical examiner really looks for and some of the factors involved in uh, her component of the investigation. Lindsay? Kent Joy, obviously the medical examiner, trying to find any evidence that remains there at that scene in Bayard to corroborate possibly Ruben Ebron's series of events as to how Lonzi Barton died, or rather to dismiss that and find another cause of death as to how the child died. We were at the medical examiner's office today downtown when the van we believe that had left the scene there in Bayard and headed back to the medical examiner's office, possibly with those remains of Lonzi Barton, pulled in this afternoon just before 4 o'clock. I've been on the phone today speaking with several different law enforcement experts about the rate of decomposition and exactly what the medical examiner may have to work with here in trying to determine a cause of death for little Lonzie Barton. A former FBI agent tells me several factors are at play here. The biggest being the temperature and the humidity. Now remember, it's been exceptionally warm here over the last few months, the warmest December there. And ever since this little boy went missing in July, it has been hot and humid many, many days. And that is one of the biggest factors when it comes to the rate of decomposition and really speeding it up, along with how the remains may have been buried there. Again, our Joy Purdy confirming earlier today during our live coverage that the body was covered. Cause of death, rainfall, body size and weight and Sheriff Bill Leeper, Nassau County Sheriff, telling me um, that when you have, find remains of a child, you typically see an external injury of some sort. And obviously, the medical examiner will be working to see if there was blunt force trauma or some other means in which Lonzie Barton lost his life. In the newsroom, Lindsay Gardner, Channel 4, The Local Station.